And uh, today we have John Springer. John Springer is the uh, digital marketing strategist over at uh, Extreme Reach. And uh, John, are you there? Make sure I got you. First of all, and so, Hi there. John, are you, hey. Hi there. Are you, can you see me? Great. Hey, can everyone. See uh, yeah, can see you. Awesome. You can hear you. Thank, thanks a lot. I think you've got um, Connecting Workflow for a Connected TV World. Is that the, the title of the session today? That's correct. Very cool. Very cool. Well, listen, it's great to have you back and i um, glad to see you. Um, looking forward to this. you got about 10 minutes and we can't wait to see what you have for us. And you, the, the screen looks great. And um, I mean, without further ado, I'll let you take it away. Great. Fantastic. And thanks. It's great to be here. Um, hi, everyone. My name is John Springer from Extreme Reach. Hope everyone out there is staying healthy and happy. Uh, it's, again, it's great to be here. Um, for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to be talking to you all about connecting workflow for a connected TV world. A little bit about myself. Uh, I've been a West Coaster my entire life, currently enjoying some good weather here in the Bay Area, certainly much warmer than the picture you see of me here. Uh, I've spent nearly a decade in ad tech, much of that time with Extreme Reach, helping our client base reshape and rethink their video ad workflow and ad ops process. Uh, I love what I do for many reasons, but the main one is I get to work with teams across just about every industry vertical. And from an ad ops perspective, I've had a window into how video creative moves from point A to point B in this industry. And I've seen the inner workings of ad operations, both large and small agencies, national and regional marketers, and video workflow on linear and nonlinear teams of various sizes. And that's what I'm asking you all to think about today. And that's your current ad ops process. Um, think of the everyday challenges that your team faces when trying to set up and execute a campaign. And while you think about that, I'll speak from my personal experience in that, you know, working with such a range of ad ops teams, you start to see patterns and process and trends and evolutions in process, you know, both the good and the bad. And some of the good trends being the application of performance data over the years has become more sophisticated, more actionable, more automated. Marketers have become hyper-focused on you know, using data and AI to target better and to reach their audience in more efficient and uh, efficient ways and to resonate with their audience in more meaningful ways. But you know, it's not all like rainbows. The flip side of that is uh, bad patterns in this process exist too. And you know, I started to notice that a lot of these bad patterns were related to Everything that came before a campaign launch, you know, like the setup, the buildup to campaign launches was just a fractured and broken process. I think it's fair to say that the life of someone working in ad ops for many organizations over the last decade typically involved, you know, long days of meticulous and repetitive work, rushing out last minute changes and strict turnaround times. Uh, it involved a series of handoffs of tags and creative assets from team to team via email or FTP creative approvals, worrying about creative rejections and incorrect formatting with a norm. QA and QC for online video didn't operate like a well-oiled machine as it does in the systems that you know, power traditional media. And you know, in my opinion, ad ops teams at organizations were somewhat getting the short end of the stick in many instances. And these were systemic problems that every industry vertical dealt with. I mean, the auto industry dealt with these issues. The entertainment industry dealt with these issues. The retail industry dealt with these issues. So today I'm here to share with you all why a connected workflow from creative sourcing through to campaign activation across all screens can make these issues disappear. And for the next few minutes, I want you all to imagine what if. Think about your current day to day, not just what your actual responsibilities are supposed to be, but everything that you deal with when you try to set up a campaign. And I'll pause there for a second so you can think about it. Now that you have that picture, I want you to think, what if? What if you never had to waste time finding the creative you needed, meaning no more searching email chains to track down new versions of new creative, no more FTP file transfers from team to team, no more lack of transparency when finished creative is produced and ready to be sent or served anywhere. When the master file of the creative is ready, it's immediately ready to be accessed by all approved parties and versioned, downloaded, distributed, ad served anywhere. And what if you could eliminate the need for spec sheets? And I mean, completely erase spec sheets from your vocabulary altogether. 
No more combing through manually updating Excel docs with the correct ad specifications. No more worrying about slate removals or individual video transcodes or la any last minute spec requirement in general. Maybe it's to make a video accessible to the hearing impaired or closed captioned or with custom end cards or whatever. None of that stuff should be a hassle or particularly time consuming. One asset, one upload, hundreds of formats, any screen. And what if you were protected from creative rejection altogether, meaning no more delays due to rejected creative because of strict publisher guidelines. And even more than that, no more stress worrying about the possibility of these creatives getting rejected at the last minute in the first place. I think everyone in this industry that works in advertising knows the feeling of these kinds of delays and it doesn't need to be that way. And what if wrapping third party tags and layering on measurement was streamlined and automated, meaning no more wasting a ton of time wrapping tags, no more sending campaign elements piecemeal. You know, all of that stuff can be funneled through one system and automation can speed up this trafficking process tenfold. And what if you had all the tools that you needed for self-service, but you also had a dedicated support team at your back that, you know, understands video advertising never sleeps. It's always on and matches that level of, of coverage and customer support. Meaning, you know, no more relying on help articles or waiting for a ticket to be opened on your behalf. No more delays in, in times of need and in crunch time. And, you know, what if you save money, time, your sanity with one simple idea and that idea being connection. And when I say connection, I mean unifying all the tasks throughout the process that rely on each other, as well as automating every single step of the workflow wherever possible. I think it's safe to say that we all strive for this, especially everyone here at this conference. Putting machines to work where human strategy isn't needed should be the ultimate goal. But unfortunately, this isn't always the case. Uh, as much as programmatic AI and automation are the promise of this industry, there's so many areas that require manual steps, emails, spreadsheets, uh, FTP transfers. And it's no wonder, you know, this business moves quickly. The growth has been exponential. There's been new screens. There's been tons of data. There's been this need for verification and safety protocols. And there's been an explosion of content, frankly. And with such fast change, it's easy to look back and see how we got to where we are today. And it's working, don't get me wrong. Uh, everyone's doing a great job making it happen and kudos to those working within this system to ensure campaigns are executed in the best way that they can. But uh, I'm sure we'd all agree that today's Frankenstein tech stack puts a strain on all teams. It impedes innovation and it slows scalability. And that's why this idea of connectivity and this idea of connection is so vital. Uh, connection makes this process more simplified. It makes it more automated and it puts you in control. So it's time to lock these steps in together and to connect all the interrelated processes is the best way both now and moving forward. That means creative sourcing, ad versioning and editing, transcoding to spec, QC and troubleshooting, campaign setup, custom tag builds, ad serving, uh, targeting and optimization, reporting and measurement. Effectively, one source of truth for that creative mapped to the one ad ID for that creative. So as soon as it's ready across linear TV or out of home or social video or ad served across mobile or FEPs or OTT or in-app or CTV or VOD or wherever, all these acronyms, it's sourced from one place and it's sourced from one ad ID that is the source of truth for that creative no matter where it goes, which means any spec, any format, any transcode, any video tag, any modification to your creative needed is a few clicks away. And troubleshooting, you know, is backed up by a managed support team of video experts that are always a live chat or an email or a call away at any day of the week. Um, automated tag imports, custom tag builds can be streamlined via automatic uploads and APIs that are baked into the ad server. Essentially, a complete control station that eliminates the time and effort and chance for human error that's associated with manual video ad ops work. Um, and finally, I want to leave you with this, and that's to tie back to a lot of the themes heard at this conference today. Uh, all TV is connected. So OTT, CTV, social video, AVOD, online video, 
and beyond. It doesn't, doesn't it make sense that the related workflows are all connected to? And thinking back to those what ifs, isn't the world better? Isn't that world better than accepting the status quo? You know, I always tell my clients a fax machine worked. Does that mean we should continue to use a fax machine forever? The good news is that uh, the technology to bring everything together already exists. You don't have to wait or hope that something new will be built. Uh, I'd love to talk to you all about what we're doing at Extreme Reach to help our clients both reshape and rethink their video ad workflow and how we can help you with yours. Uh, thank you all for your time. Uh, this has been a blast. It's truly an honor for us to sponsor this conference and uh, I sincerely hope that you all enjoy. Thanks. Thanks, John. Great job. Hey, you know, we appreciate such a, uh, a great insight into the workflow process and especially creative. We, we, any, anytime anyone brings creative to the table at these conferences, it always gets a great, uh, great feedback because it's just, it's, it's oftentimes under, underserved and to, to be able to tie that all into something like this is really cool. So Definitely. thanks for that. We appreciate it.